Okay, in today's video, we're going to test how bacteria transfers from our hands to objects using Legos. We'll then look at different ways that may limit the transfer of those germs. Grace. So today we're doing some more social distance science and we are going to be playing with Legos today, which who doesn't love Legos, and some germs. Here's the basic idea. We have glow germ to simulate germs being on our hands and we want to see what the best way to stop the spread of those germs from our hands to different objects is. I'm super excited. I've never used the glow germ before, so these are not real germs. They are simulated germs. And they use this in doctor's offices, they use this to teach students even how to wash their hands properly and to get germs off of a surface. So again, these are not real germs, they're simulated germs. So I love this because early on in the pandemic, but it doesn't even have to be the pandemic, people, parents are always telling you to wash your hands. Why do we need to do it? So today's experiment is going to show how washing your hands and other types of things that you can do can limit the spread of germs. And more importantly, it's gonna show you how easily germs spread from one person and one object to another. I love this experiment because when the pandemic first started, it was all about washing your hands. And my dad, he really talked about how when you touch one surface, like I've touched the workbench, now it's like having red paint on my hands. So anything I touch, whether it be these Legos, this light, these germs, the my, my coffee, guess what is now there? Red paint, because I've taken, or germs in this instance. So I've taken the germs from the workbench, touched everything, and so now if we were to go back and look, it would be like having red paint everywhere on everything that I've touched. Right, Kenan? That's exactly right. I love that description, I love the analogy. And we're essentially gonna do the exact same thing except for getting your hands all covered in paint. We're gonna use a little bit of science with some glow-in-the-dark germs. Step number one, let's get your hands clean and then we'll dirty them up with our synthetic germs. All right, hands are sanitized and clean. I need to add some glow germ to my hands, correct? Now that your hands are clean, go ahead and rub that glow germ into there to contaminate them with our synthetic germs. And then we'll go ahead and see how they transfer onto other surfaces by building a set of Legos. Glow germ is on. We're good to go. I'm gonna put together this little Lego set. We'll see what happens. So I have finished building our Lego set um, and it is very intricate <laughs> to say the least. I was not expecting it to be this intricate, but here we are. Um, I'm gonna use our black light and we're gonna check out our little Lego guy. Remember we had the glow germ on my hands and it looked like this. You can see the line of the glow germ all on my hands and on the, the desk. Now we're gonna check out our Lego guy. So when we look at him with no UV lights on, he's just a normal Lego guy. Now, after building him with my hands, I had germs all over them. He now has bacteria all over him. I mean, in every nook and cranny, every joint, everywhere. So this just goes to show how much bacteria was transferred from my hands to the Lego guy in just one build. Can you imagine how dirty Legos are when we don't wash them or don't clean them at all? Like think of the Legos that you played with when you were little that you never cleaned. Seriously, there are germs everywhere. We transferred the glow germ to the Lego guy. Will the Lego guy transfer to somebody else, Kenan? Uh, that's what we're here to find out. So that's typically how the spread of germs work. So this would be called fomite transmission. And that's when you get germs and you put them on something else and then those germs are able to transfer to someone else. So I say you get somebody else in the TKR studio to come in and see if they can start building that with clean hands and if they're clean hands, end up dirty. This is awesome. <laughs> I don't Look know what I built. He's got like a crazy gauntlet and everything. This is cool. Thank you, thank you. So what's the point of this video? So we are testing out the germs that are on our hands using this fun thing. You are glowing. I am, it's okay, it's okay. fine. Um, so this is called Glow Germ and it's actually all over this little guy that oh, you're holding. Great. And now oh, it's, it's on, on your me. hands. It's on me now. Okay. 
Not cool. <laughs> so it's basically the transmission of germs is what we're trying to talk about today and how we can kind of combat it. Okay. So the best way for us to combat... Cut my hands off. No. <laughs> That's not the one. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Um, we're going to wash our hands okay. and hopefully that can get the glow germ off of Home Slice. What's, what's his name? Thanos. 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 Thanos? Thanos. Thanos. Have you never seen Avengers? No. I'm sorry, little one. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands too, and we will check out what my hands look like when I come back and what we can potentially do about the germs that are on Thanos and get him nice and clean. And try not to transfer any germs to another surface. All right, let's check out my hands and see how well I did cleaning them. Not very good. I did better. You did. You did better than me. Wow. Yes, they're still glowing. All right, well my hands are clean. Your am hands. I, am I free? You're free. Okay, Since thanks. you scrubbed your hands properly. <laughs> so I'm looking at my hand compared to the glow germ that I just put on it and what I washed off. It's pretty vivid within like where I had just placed it and that's what matches that what on Thanos. So I think I scrubbed a majority of it off. It's still in the cracks of my hands where I scrubbed because I didn't scrub very well there, but I think a majority of it came off. Should we try putting on gloves, you think? Yeah, so another way that we can do this experiment is since we know that it's already all over Thanos, right? Yeah. You could put on gloves, touch Thanos because we know that it's going to get transferred to your hands pretty quickly, right? Yeah. And then we'll see if the germs are able to transfer to those gloves and then if you're able to transfer the germs from those gloves onto something else. So this glove is on. Pretty good. I don't have anything on my hand, on my fingers. There's a little bit, not much. Backside, a little bit where I was holding the glove itself. So I'm content with this glove, nothing on it. I have gloves on and I can play with this and I'm not getting any germs on my actual skin. Which is great. I'm, I mean, I'm not getting any new germs. I'm not spreading any new germs. It's great, everything's contained properly. Oh no. You feel safe now, right? Oh my goodness, well, it's okay. He's a bad guy anyway. We didn't, we didn't want him. Look at that. I wasn't even holding him for 30 seconds. Are you germy? I can't see your hands, but. I'm germy. Oh, so germy. Oh yeah, all over their fingers. Legit all Jeremy for holding him for like less than 30 seconds, which is crazy. Yeah, it doesn't take very long for bacteria and germs to transfer. That whole rule that you ever heard as a kid of the five second rule, that's not true. Yeah. As soon as it hits the floor, the bacteria that it touches are easily transferred over to there. Dude, I'm 23 and I swear I've eaten food off the floor multiple times. <laughs> and you're telling me now that that's not okay? <laughs> not all bacteria are bad for you. Most of them don't do anything and a lot of them are good. There's only a few out there that'll make you really sick. Okay, so like I'm, I'm good, I'm safe, right? Like I don't have, I, I touched that, the germs I touched from there, they aren't anywhere else, right? If you were a scientist and you had just been working with some dangerous bacteria and you had those gloves on, your next step would be to take those gloves off and throw them away. And I did not take them off. And I picked up my coffee cup. Why would you do that, Grace? I thought Why? I was safe. I'm not transferring germs to my skin. No. All right, well now you're gonna have to take the black light and look at the cup. Ew. Did you transfer your germs onto the cup? So many. So even though you had gloves on, as soon as you touched that dirty Thanos Lego, and then you touched your cup, you transfer the germs from that Lego set to your cup and anything else that you touch. Well, this was super cool. Guys, if there's anything you guys want to see us do with Glow Germ, we would love to know. So let us know in the comments below what you guys want to see us do. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click up there if you want to see our last video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.